For many of us, our cars are our pride and joy. They not only get us from point A to point B, but they can get us there in style, in class, in luxury, and they can get us there fast. They're a pure fashion statement. Now, I don't know about you, but I want to have owned or at least driven as many cars as possible in my lifetime. And every car I've driven is an entirely different experience. Hey, let me be a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Not very long after this drive, I had an itch. An itch to buy another Corvette, and I had to scratch it. Despite the pandemic, despite the high prices, it was time to start searching, and I would have traveled the entire nation to find one. So, as I walk around the airport and I notice a ton of businesses closed down. I reflect back, I think, damn, like so many people are out of jobs, out of their work, no income. And here I am taking a flight to down to LA to go pick up a car. Should I feel guilty? I'm not sure. I work hard, so I feel like I deserve it but a part of you does feel damn such different times I mean look around the airport is pretty much empty there's a few people but for the most part it's empty so this is my first time traveling since the pandemic I'm not scared I wouldn't say I'm scared at all I'm being more cautious than I ever was I don't want to get sick I'm not afraid of it but yeah, it's just uh, a different, um, different feeling traveling this time around. So, what do you think? Am I gonna want this car? I will. Am I gonna buy it? What do you predict? Do you predict the future? Am I buying it or not? Otherwise, you're not going home. He says I'm buying it. I said, I don't know. Otherwise, you're not going home. I'll fly home. You can take an Uber. We'll see. I'm not sure about this color yet. We'll see.
officially in Los Angeles. This is it, you guys. I'm both nervous and excited at the same time to see this orange Corvette. I just don't know how I feel about the color, but I'm about to see it in person. This yellow is hot. It's a lot brighter than in the picture. Well, we got to the dealership and saw the car. Did not like it. I thought I would like it, but I didn't. I don't know what it is about this color, you guys, but it just looks like a big old pumpkin on wheels. It's too deep of an orange for me. If it was more neon color, I'd like it. I'd probably take it, but I'm going to have to pass and uh, go home empty-handed. I like that one, but that one's not the model I want. That's a Z06. I already had it. Don't want a Z06. That is just not my taste. But first, I'm going to fill up on some fuel so I can feel better, shake this off, and uh, take advantage of my time here in LA and see what life is like under the pandemic. Everything's just dead. We're blowing off some time until our flight home. And even the malls here in Anaheim are dead. Just dead. It's so slow that even the escalators are just turned off. I thought coming to LA, Anaheim, I'd see much more people than this, but yeah, this pandemic, guys, it's just really, really killing business. Look at this, even a cell phone repair business closed. Closed. The flight home was surprisingly busy. It almost felt like normal times. I did have plenty of time to think about my decision and I'm really glad that I didn't buy the car because I just wouldn't have been happy with that orange. I know to some of you watching this video, that orange is the perfect color, but just not my taste. I never thought in a million years I'd actually fly out to buy a car and come back empty handed Anyhow, as soon as I landed, I came back to reality with this whole pandemic. And I also knew since that door closed, another would open very soon. When I went back to the drawing board, I realized there's three colors that I would want. Red, yellow, or gray. Nothing else. Then I came across this white Grand Sport that was at a really, really good price, but it was a 1LT, which is the very first trim level in the Corvette, and anybody watching this who knows, the 1LT really has no bells and whistles, no heated seats, no cameras, just bare bones vehicle. And I dragged my feet with this one for about a week and a half until I finally realized, no, white is just not the color for me. I continued my search and realized just how hard it is to find a car during this pandemic. I mean, these car prices were through the roof and I could not find the color I wanted. Finding a car was so challenging. I had no idea. I actually had to set notifications on every single car purchasing app on my phone. And then one night, this beautiful red Grand Sport, it was a 2019, it had 2,500 miles on it hit the market. I contacted the seller. We had a 30 minute conversation about the car where we agreed on a price. The only problem with it, it was out in New York. So I needed a little bit of time to make arrangements to fly out there, find a shipping company and put the car on a truck and send it back to Cali. By now I had a good taste of the market and I knew that this car would sell fast. It was such a rare find. I offered the seller a down payment to hold the car for me which he declined. 
He actually told me that he would give me a virtual handshake over the phone, man to man's word, that he would hold this vehicle for me. He'd give me 24 hours to make arrangements to come out there and it would be mine. I wake up the next morning completely excited to get this process started only to find an email from him that somebody made him a cash offer and he sold it. Initially, I was pissed. I wanted to write him a really nasty email and ask him what happened to a man's word and how dare he do that to me. But at the end of the day, I realized it ain't worth my breath. He sold the car, he doesn't owe me anything, and this was just a business transaction for him. So I lifted up my own panties, set aside my hurt feelings, and told myself that I need to move on because another car will come along. Well, today's a big day. I sold my uh, yellow C6 about three weeks, maybe a month ago, and I've been searching for a replacement since then, and uh, although I know it's the worst time period to buy a car because everything is inflated because of the pandemic and there's a shortage of uh, used cars, I, I got to have my hands on another vet. So we're, we're in California. It's still beautiful outside it's still we're in october mid-october and um it's still in the 80s yesterday was in the 90s over the weekend we were in a red flag warning because it was a hundred something degrees we've had a ton of fires um and anyhow regardless of the market whether it's a good time to buy or not i guess i don't care <laughs> um i found the car that i really like and I'm um, uh, headed out to go buy it, so let's go. You know, this car has just about everything that I wanted. It's the 2LT package. It's got uh, the uh, front-facing cameras for the curb. It's got the rear camera. It's got the heated seats, cooled seats. It has everything. The only thing that it is missing, I was looking for a, CO7, a Z07 package. Uh, I couldn't find that. But this one has the carbon ceramic brakes, which I really wanted. So uh, the car won't ride as rough as the Z07 package. I think it'll be just fine for uh, daily driving. Take the second right, then your destination will be on the right. There we are. This is where my new car is gonna be. Whoa, I see it. I see it, I see it. Your destination is on the right. Oh yeah, that is a beauty. Oh my god. That is a beauty. Alright, now I'm excited. Look at that. Ah, great. my first time getting into this car. Get this mask. Oh yeah. This is hella nice. <laughs> Look at this. Not too, not too fond of the red this red at least but hey these seats are nice uh, suede yeah you still having trouble back there yeah <laughs> very <laughs> very tough is it? Yeah. Yeah. love it i love this interior he's like a porsche dealership Look at that. Look at the rest of these cars.
for the cars there. So they were asking for 59, basically 60. I offered them 57. They countered 57.8. I get here, there's a missing key and the rim has a small little nick on it, a rock chip. So I told him 57 and I'm not budging beyond that. And he said, well, you can walk. And I said, I have no problem walking. I just flew out to Anaheim and back and I didn't buy the car because I didn't like it. So I don't have a problem walking, make it 57. <clears throat> so he came back, not even two minutes later, he accepted 57. So then I told him, well, since your manager approved 57 so easily, let's count our offer at 56. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Anyways, closing the deal, 57. The screen here shows that your payment's the same. We did not select any additional equipment. We discussed some options. If you could just sign in the white box at the bottom, please. <sighs> Finally, hours later, signed all the papers, and the car is mine. Yeah, street legal in your name. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we're gonna see what it sounds like. Well, there it is. I got the car and time to drive home. Got a little bit of a headache. Oh man, but I'm I'm stoked. So, gonna get some food and drive home. I'll try to get some footage while like while I'm driving, if possible. Well, I'm on my way home from uh, purchasing the C7 Grand Sport and. Uh, it's a really, really nice ride. It's way, way different than the Z06 as far as power and control. And what I mean by that is this car's under control. <laughs> um, I can give it gas and I'm, I'm in control. In first, second, third gear, all the power gears, I am in full control. Um, I'm definitely enjoying this drive home and excited to actually for the first time track a car. So. I'm, I'm very happy with my purchase.